the worst piece of shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Pack out clip for the front of the lawnmower. You may recognize this lawnmower from a previous video we done because we compared it against five other commercial lawnmowers that are on the market. Yes, battery lawnmowers. And Milwaukee rang me up and said, James, we really like the video, thank you very much. But we'd like you to give some more detail because you may have missed a few points. And also, we've got a very special offer coming up. So you're going to find out about that special offer and some more information about this mower, as well as me, well, I'm going to cut some grass, I'm going to, I'm going to collect with it, I'm going to mulch with it, and use one of the features that I never mentioned in that previous video. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and ding the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Let's get cracking. Tested by Machinery Nation. So Milwaukee currently have a redemption offer on this lawnmower. What's a redemption offer? It means if you buy this lawnmower, you can then redeem a free gift Oh yes you can, and that is either the 20 centimetre single handed hedge trimmer, the single battery powered blower, or the two handed 45 centimetre hedge trimmer. This offer is available until the 30th of June, but make sure you get it registered before that date so you don't miss out. So just click onto Milwaukee's website, the link is in the description to buy this product and redeem your free gift. So the Milwaukee M18 F2 LM53 is a 21 inch wide mower, which is 53 centimetres, so you've got a nice wide cut. Comes with a steel deck and a fabric grass bag, but what else is included? That's fairly standard for most mowers. Let's see what's special about this one. It runs on the same 18 volt platform as your drills, saws, impacts, grinders, everything the same on this one runs these batteries. These are two 12 amp batteries. So if you buy the kit, the mower is a kit, you'll receive two 12 amp hour batteries and a dual fast M18 charger. It has headlights, one on each side and also side lights, one on each side. Have a flash, 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 flash. So storage is a great feature for this mower and it's very, very important. So if you take the grass box off the back, you then got two knobs each side. You can turn those knobs around and then you can fold over the handles, locking them in again, and then you can fold it and stand it on its back. The benefit to that is that if you're in a shed or your garage or even the back of a van, it's going to take up a lot less room than it would if it was on its four wheels. And also in the back of a van, if you want to strap it so that it's not going to move around, it's going to be a lot easier to strap like that than it is on its wheels where it's trying to move around all the time. You'll also see as I fold it back up again, you've got these three little holes on the side. So that allows for the taller or shorter gardener. So you can have that in and it can clip into there, clip into there, or clip into there. So as standard, Milwaukee supply a fairly basic blade with the mower, which would be fine for most jobs. But you can also get the high performance blade, which has also got the mulching fins on the back to increase airflow and also has a slightly different design to allow for better collection. You'll see here that Milwaukee have actually got a separate motor on their back axle, which means you can drive the mower without the blade going. Some mowers on the market have still got a petrol style back axle and there's a belt going to the blade boss. So you've got to have the blade running while trying to drive the mower. The mower comes as standard with a mulch plug, which just fits into the back like so, held in place by the grass flap. It also comes with a side deflector, so you can clip that in like so, and then the grass will shoot right out the side of the mower, rather than coming down onto your feet and into your legs. You'll have to excuse my neighbour, he's like 150 yards away, but he's got the most rubbish two-stroke piece of machinery you could wish for. So if you're here in the background, it's not me. I'm Team Milwaukee with battery power, and that is the worst piece of shit I've ever heard in my life. Right, so the cockpit, nice and easy. Press the button, pull the lever in. Starts your mower absolutely instantly. No, no delay, no lag, boom, on. Nice, we love that. And then you've got a full power button. So if you want to use your mower at full power all the time, Press that button, again. It takes it straight up to full power. If you don't have that turned on, full power mode is still enabled, but it'll only engage when you're in thicker or damper or clumpier grass. And then it'll die back down again to be able to conserve battery when it doesn't need full power. Then you've got your light switch, boom, on and off. And then you've got your adaptive drive. So here you've got from one to five on the little wheel. 
And if you set it at one, you can go just go up to first speed. If you set it to three, you then got between one and three on your lever at the back. And then you set it to five, you've got between one and five. So the further you push that, the faster you'll go. Really nice and easy to work with. All right, so first up, I'm going to do some collecting. Yes, I'm going to collect with the mower, and then I'm going to mulch, and then I'm going to do some side discharging. <laughs> full grass box. We found that in the previous test we've done. It absolutely jam-packs the grass box full. I just threw that in the chicken run and got absolutely covered in grass. Oh well. So you can hear the noise of the mower going up and down as it goes through different levels of grass. Also on the grass box, on the back, you've also got a handle. So when you empty the grass box, it's something to hold on to. So many mowers do not have that anymore. If other manufacturers are watching, which I'm, I, I know they are, please put handles on the back of your grass boxes again. We need it. driving along without the blade going. Big advantage. Right, let's try a bit of mulching. So we can lose the grass box. Oh, I haven't even emptied that yet. All right, that's the job for in a minute. Yeah, there we go. That's absolutely jam-packed grass box again, by the way. All right, mulch plug in. Down with the flap. We're set up for mulching. Also, what I didn't mention, single height adjustment on one lever. One lever, and you've got seven different heights you can choose from. Nice and easy. With mulching, I'm going to take a third of the material off. The grass is about three, four inches in places, so I'm going to take it down to about two inches. We'll allow for the wispy bits on the top, but for the main bulk of the grass is three inches, so I'm going to take a third off, so take an inch off and leave it at two inches. Nice. Let's see how it gets on. mulched it. It's done a good job. It is in a high traffic area here as well with some real coochy thick grass. You know nobody wants that stuff in their lawn. You know, it's that sort of stuff you used to find when you're at school. Get a long bit, put it up between your fingers and then go <coughs> yeah I know right how bored was I as a child. Hey it's mulched it. Let's do side discharging because that's the one of the things I didn't do in the original video and cut some sort of thickery grass. Thickery? New word James. Thickery grass. I want to see it in the comments. Everyone write thickery. James is thickery. I know you've watched the video then. Ah, right, I found some thickery grass and um, yeah, we're just going to spurt it out the side with the side shoot. <laughs> that actually works really well. I'm almost disappointed because I sort of didn't think it was going to work, but it does. You know when you think you're going to know more than the manufacturers do about their products? and then you use it and they sort of prove you wrong. One of those moments right there. No word of a lie, I do actually really like this mower. It's got a lot going for it. It collects the grass, it mulches the grass and it's got that cool side discharge chute which has just surprised me quite a lot. Plenty of power. Also, a nice thing, a lot of things you find with battery mowers, there's a sequence when you go to the handlebars. So you go to the handlebars, you've got to pull the handle, you've got to press the button, then pull the handle in. If you pull the handle in and then press the button, it doesn't work. But on this mower, it doesn't matter. As long as you pull the handle and then press the button, 
or press a button and pull the handle in. Doesn't matter where that handle is, you can still press the button. I just found that out as well. So there's mowers surprising me all the time. Uh, it's, it's a bit of an odd shape on the front. I don't know what this whole like snoop nose is on the front. I guess somewhere maybe put a pack out clip so you can clip some pack out on the front to keep your tools with you. Hopefully you won't need them for the mower. Hopefully not. But I don't know, change the blades or take the blade off or for other tools you might need. A pair of secateurs in there so you go along you find a branch and think, oh, give that a little prune. Yeah, I'm walking. You make a nice little pack out like holder for a mini pack out to go on the front. I've coined that everybody, okay? So if you see a pack out clip for the front of the lawnmower to keep your little toolbox on the front, that's my idea, no one else's. Uh, yeah, I really like it. Uh, make use of the redemption deal if you want one of these, because you buy the mower, and then when you register it, you can then click redeem, and redeem either the 25 centi no, the 20 centimeter little handheld hedge trimmer, the single battery handheld blower, or the two-handed handheld hedge trimmer, the 45 centimeter hedge trimmer. All great tools. They're, directly, that's free. I don't know if there's such a thing as free, is there? But you buy the mower, you redeem the other products. Great idea, great offer. Milwaukee will send it directly to your door as well once you redeem it, no matter where you buy this from. And yeah, good, good mower, good quality. It's the mower I'm choosing at the weekends. So if that's worth anything, there you go. Thank you very much for watching. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit the like button, ding the notification bell and buy some merch because I'm sure there's some others of you out there who are masters of mowers, more of a master than me. We've got t-shirts saying that as well, it's coming up to summer. And um, yeah, that offer is available until the 30th of June. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio, have a lovely day. Oh, I nearly forgot when you're all said and done and your mowers all folded up in the back of your van or your shed or your garage, as previously mentioned. Milwaukee also provide its own little cover. This is extra, by the way. It doesn't come up with the kit. It's my first time, okay, so be gentle with me. But she just slides over the top like so. It does have a zip on you can undo to make it easier. Oh, look at this, look. Oh, mate, it's like a sleeping bag. It goes on better than this, I'm sure. There we go. And, oh, my wow. That is, that is really cool. Right, so that stops it getting dusty and everything. Cool, look at that. The lawnmower sleeping bag. Milwaukee Marketing, please change it so it says lawnmower sleeping bag, not just lawnmower cover. Because we know you like names. You know, like Zorzor and Dozer, hold dozers bits and stuff like that. Let's call it the lawnmower sleeping bag. We'll sell millions. Commission one pound a bag.